Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about how to prepare for anatomy, viva, and practical examination. So this is very important for all the medical students who have the viva exam system in many parts of the world, especially in the Indian subcontinent, also in the Middle East. So, viva may make or viva may break. That may happen. So, we must know how to prepare for anatomy, viva, and practical examination. So, let's start our preparation. So we should be prepared well in advance, be regular throughout the academic years so that every day is countable. Every day, all the students should study properly. Try to understand the structure and mark distribution of the examination from the very beginning. The examination has two parts. One is hard part, and another is the soft part. Hard part, it is mostly the bones, the osteology, the slides, and the surface anatomy. Soft part, again, identification of the viscera and viva, certainly, viva is also present in the hard part. And radiological anatomy, if it is added to some of the new medical school curriculum, certainly radiological anatomy is also very important. You may have hard part first, then soft part, or vice versa. You may have the soft part first, and after a few days, you will have the hard part. There are intervals among the written hard part and soft part exam. The interval may be two to seven days, it depends on the university under which you are taking the professional MBBS examination. Utilize the interval for rehearsal. So practice, practice, and practice. Okay. So learn through visualization. Learn common topics for viva table. So what bones are present on the tray of the viva table? We must know that part. What viscera are present on the tray, on the table of the viva table? So on the viva table, what viscera, what bones are present? We must know that part. We will give emphasis on those viscera, those bones, those structures. In the dissection hall, what structure are dissected? What is that cadaver? You must be well informed of that from the very beginning. You must practice. You must see. Please remember that structure vary from one cadaver to another cadaver. Structure vary from one viscera to another viscera. So please be familiar with all the viscera, all the bones, those may be in your viva table. Hold the bone and viscera in anatomical position repeatedly for perfection. So this is an important point. Sometimes people have very hard time to hold the viscera or bone in anatomical position. Suppose how to hold the liver, how to hold the kidney, which kidney is a bit up, which kidney is a bit down. We have to know that part. How to hold the pelvis, in what direction. So these are very important. How to determine the side, the left side clavicle from the right side clavicle, the left side fibula from right side fibula. What, what is the upper end? What is the lower end? We must know that part. So we must practice from the very beginning. And do not go alone. This is very important to us. If we go alone, 
we may be very much good student, but our score will be very low. We may barely pass, and that pass may not be very much comfortable. So don't be alone. Study with a partner, academic partner. Study in a, in a small study group. Don't be isolated. Please know what is going on in your college or university so that you may be relevant to the topics. Be assertive and social all the time. Be positive. You are the most talented student, so you should not fail. You should pass and you should be social. Practice by yourself at your room silently or in front of the mirror. Practice with your study partner and your study group. Explain the topic to your friends, ask them questions and be ready to answer their question. If you don't know the answer, open the book and learn instantly. Not for tomorrow, not for day after tomorrow, because we'll forget that. So please try to solve the question as early as possible when it arises. Okay, please keep the textbook, atlas book and a medical dictionary on your study table. And I will request all the medical students, please buy the new books, the latest edition, new books, new atlas book, new textbook what is recommended by your professor. And always have a medical dictionary because a lot of student English is their second language. So they need to learn the terminology. So they should open the medical dictionary. That is very essential. Initial study should be in depth from a textbook. Textbook recommended by your professor. It may be Gray's Anatomy, Gray's Anatomy for the students. It may be keep more clinically oriented anatomy. It depends on your professor. Whatever he like, that is the textbook. Okay. For your conception, you may re read any guidebook. A lot of guidebook is in the campus. So don't ignore them. Please buy the <coughs> guidebook and, <coughs> and read the guidebook and watch youtube videos there are a lot of youtube videos please look at the youtube videos it may clear your conception you may visit any relevant website so you may get better conception from the website sometimes textbook may not be very much clear to a student but some website some youtube video even some guidebook may help any guidebook is good. Any other book other than textbook is good. Our idea is to answer correctly in the Bible exam and in the practical exam. So whatever maybe the source is not a problem. Idea is that the information should be correct and accurate. For osteology, please hold the bone by your hand. Open the atlas book, read and match with your textbook description. As a medical student, you should have a complete set of bone. And you should read the bone and read the description from the textbook and match with the atlas book. Make a checklist for, from, the atlas, from the atlas book, muscle origin, insertion, relation, group, process, Fossa, condyle, epicondyle, tubercle, fissure, foramina, canal, tunnel, notches, whatever may be the relevant part of the bone, you have to know and attempt to know the relationship. Discuss with your study partner. That will keep the information to be retained in your memory for a long time. Learn the nerve supply and actions of the muscles. In the book, you will you'll see there are some tables, muscle origin, insertion, nerve supply action. Please go through that part. Okay. 
learn how to mount a slide and focus it under a microscope. So histology is a very interesting subject, but a lot of students hesitate to mount a slide and focus it because they think that microscope may be broken or slide may be broken. Okay, if you go gently, if you are a little alert from the very beginning, it will not be broken, but still it may be broken. So don't feel guilty for that. Try to save all the mic microscope and the slide intact for all the students. Usually the slide may be the part that may be broken. Microscope are usually very much, very much okay. It is not a problem. You may change the focus. You may give the 10 power, give the 40 power. You may move the condenser and make the light source okay. So microscope is not a problem slide is made of glass it may be broken but if you are alert from the very beginning it may not be broken despite that except some slide breaking as a part of your learning practice as much as you can and handle gently identify histological structure and match with the photo micrograph your atlas textbook what textbook any textbook in Atlas, like Jankuria Basic Histology. Or you may go through other book like Ross and Olina Histology book, or Color Histology book by Gartner, okay? Or D. Fiore Histology Atlas book. So please open the Atlas book, please focus the slide, and match the atlas book with your histological slide, then you will not look at the morphology of the slide. Don't look at the, at the cover slide, whether it is broken, it is triangular, it is circular, no. Your examiner may, may carry the slide with him or her. Or sometimes the examiner may not give the microscope, can focus on the screen, and you may get only one minute in a timed PowerPoint. You have to identify the structure, write the salient, salient points. And it is if you go through the morphology of the slide, how the power slide, slide look like, how, how it is broken, how it is triangular. No, that is not the learning of histology. Histology will learn the tissue. We must focus. We must spend time. We must handle the microscope and we'll match the image with our photo micrograph of our textbook. Then we can answer the question very nicely. We can draw the image very nicely and we'll get the highest score. Make a notebook for the identifying points of each slide. Discuss the possible viva question which is related to the histological slide. In the exam, if you fail to focus for any reason, Probably the microscope was defective or the student in front of you was did not handle the microscope properly. Ask help from the demonstrator or the invigilators, even your professor. Don't be panicked. This may happen. Surface marking and radiological anatomy is an important part for practical examination. Practice surface marking on the body of your friend. You can practice something in your own body. Suppose you can make the points for your great saphenous vein. You can make points on your ligamentum petili. Okay. You can identify your manibular sternal joint or angle of Lewis. You can identify the dermatome over the umbilicus, you can say. What should be the dermatome? What is the McBurney's point? Okay. And you may practice on your on your friend or your, your body, or maybe another person in your dorm. You may pay them a little bit and they may be willing to be your, your model at that time. Make checklist for surface anatomy items. What are the points for surface anatomy? You have to remember that part for your exam. Discuss the possible viva question 
quizzes related to the surface anatomy. Read the radiological anatomy, views, what views? AP view, lateral view, or PA view from your department X-ray plates, okay? And what is CT scan? CT scan or CAT scan? What is MRI? How MRI is having more advantage than that of CT scan? Which is best for what? Okay, so you can also go through some Google images and any radiology website, a lot of free websites are present. So suppose you need to identify the, the femur, the greater trochanter, lesser trochanter in the X-ray film. You can easily do it by going through the website. Or if you like to study the chest X-ray, PA view, why it is PA view? Because we get more lung sh shadow in PA view, posterior anterior view. You have to identify the trachea, you have to identify the costal diaphragmatic recess, you have to identify the costophrenic angle. Okay, so these are all normal structure, and you have to know whether the heart is enlarged or not. Is there any cardiomegaly is present there or not? Okay, is there any refracture there? How about the clavicle? How about the spine of the scapula? How about the tip of the coracoid process? You have to identify them. Okay, preparation for viscera and dissection. Identify the structure and viscera. Hold it in anatomical position. Practice this anatomical position with your friend. Okay, for soft tissue, better to use the forceps and probe or seeker. Forcep must. If you have probe, that is good. So if you use the four seven probe, then there will be less tissue damage than that of using your finger. That is that is not always very much standard or appropriate. Open the textbook and atlas book, any atlas book. It may be netter, it may be the Gray's atlas, it may be Grant's atlas. Okay, whatever may be, it should what is what is proposed by your teacher by your, your professor that is the best text and atlas discuss the possible question identify the structure on this this section match the atlas and text make a checklist for each viscous that is the viscera and each dissection again discuss the possible questions and their answer for identity identification always rely on text and atlas book don't go through the guidebook for identification because the images are, are not live here. So always go to the text and atlas for identification for guidebook or some other book like Biri Chorashia or Oshin Kumar Dotto or Shomor Mitro. These are good books, no doubt, a lot of information, but the images may not be very much live. So for live picture, we'll go to the textbook. Again, one more question. If the examiner asks you what book you follow, please be prepared to say the name of the textbook. Don't say the Bidi Chorashia, don't say the Shomar Mitro or A.K. Dotto, because some teachers don't like that. They like to hear the name of the big books like Gray's Anatomy, Cunningham's Manual of Dissection, or Grant's Method of Dissection. These are all relevant books. Or even you may the, say the Gray's anatomy for the students or the clinically oriented anatomy by Keith Moore, okay? Histology by Jean Courier or like the, the D. Fiore or you may say the Polina or Polina and Roche or Gartner, okay? So always say the name of the big book, okay? Although you read everything, you have every right to read everything, Main purpose is to answer the question, okay? And answer the correct question, correct answer. Okay, Check. make the checklist for all viscous. For identification, always rely on textbook. Please do not destroy the structure. Please do not misplace the identifying text in the OSP. It is very bad and it will hamper entire group score and teacher become very much annoyed and they may add another specimen that may not be 
familiar to the students. Therefore, no room for vandalism. Be careful. Okay. Prepare for Bhaiba board, table, visara, bone, and x-ray. So, what are present on the Bhaiba board table? Make emphasis on those. Ask your friends the question they faced in their hard part or in the soft part. Then your questions and experience with and share experience with others. Make note of those questions from multiple examining. Some people may not tell what is asked. Some people tell you. So ask multiple friends. Learn about exam hall environment and experience and share yours with others. Any typical or special question asked by the external or internal exam examiner, please make a note of that, otherwise you may forget it. What question were asked in the dissection and in the surface anatomy, again, make a note and ask multiple students who have done the test. Now take the test. You need a sound sleep prior night and a good breakfast with tea and coffee. You may get some type of pop-up soda to get more caffeine to stimulate your central nervous system. So that it must be alert. Don't go to the bed too early. Don't go to the bed too late. Okay. If you go too early, then you may wake up in the middle of the night. If you go too late, you may sleep during the Bhaiba body, Bhaiba Bose examination and practical examination. And don't go to the exam hall with empty stomach with hypoglycemia. That will decrease your performance very, very gravely. Groom properly and have clean iron apron. Shoes covering the toes, no flip flop or sandal and professional looking at it. Male students have clean shape, trim your mustache, no long hair, no long beard, no appealing scent. Remember, examiner may be your old fashioned dad like figure or old fashioned grandpa or, or grandma like figure. So please remember that, please be clean and just give an interview to them like that way. Female student, follow your college dress code. It is your OIOER. Clean and iron apron. If you are diabetic or sick due to any other region, please inform your internal examiner. You may have some special accommodation, special arrangement, or at least sympathy for you. Okay, now take the test. Keep a pen, pencil marker, and eraser in your apron pocket. Keep a few chocolate and biscuit with you if there are no prohibition. Go to the toilet, restroom, and get refreshed before beginning of the examination. For OSPI, write the short answer, manage your time. Do not misspell. Write the question number and you can mark by your marker so that you may not, the examiner can easily look at the, at the question so you can get the whole number. Even some person may, have, may not have good handwriting, but if you mark it by a marker question number, then and use the green color, not the red color, and the examiner will be happy to mark you. Write the question number. Do not have a. Do you have a resting station? And during the resting station, please give you the question. Okay. Come to the exam hall in time. Greet your examiner. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Follow the command of, command of your examiner. Examiner can ask you any question. They have that freedom. Sit comfortably. Make humble gesture. 
and smiling face. Don't frown. Don't be too nervous. Don't be too rigid. Relax. Make eye contact with both the examiner. Don't ignore the internal. Don't ignore the external. Both of the examiner are very important to you. Okay. So you are being assessed by both of them. So please make eye contact with the external as well as eye contact with the internal. The examiner may ask you to hold your femoral bone or viscera. Again, it depends on your school culture. Left sided structures should be held by what? Left hand. Right sided structures should be held by the right hand. So please learn your school culture and hold the structure accordingly and practice the exact anatomical position. Especially something like that of liver, kidney, spleen, how to hold the spleen. Okay. Be alert all the time. If you are not alert, you may do mistake. Understand the question before answering. Answer promptly with confidence. That will give you good, good score. If you don't know the answer, say politely, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I don't know, ma'am. Don't look up and down, side to side. No one will help you. Rather, you will lose your confidence. No argument or altercation with the examiner. Be obedient to your teachers. If anything wrong happened, which is very unfortunate, it should not happen. Repent for that and ask for forgiveness. Try to say the honest answer. Don't try to bluff the examiner. Okay? Don't catch the fault of the examiner. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too loud, too fast, and avoid irrelevant talk. Don't talk too little. Teacher is asking you, say the five branches of this artery. You just so you just like to tell only one that will not work. Don't answer in an inaudible tone. Especially I have seen in my experience, especially the female student, they talk too low voice. Okay. They become too much gentle, too much polite. This will not help you anyway. Please answer in an understandable tone and exactly what the teacher ask you answer should be exactly don't be nervous do not do you have stammering or stuttering do you have yes if you have stay calm answer slowly in an understandable tone and certainly must practice practice and practice with your academic partner before coming to the exam hall Remember, the examiner are human beings. They do mistakes too. They are not totally free from personal bias, favoritism, lack of transparency and fairness. A well-prepared student will overcome all the barrier and will prevail. You will pass. Will pass with great, with good score because you took all the directions you spend a lot of time with your with the academic partner, with yourself, and you have gone through all the information. So teacher may have some type of limitation, but despite that, you will get the good score. Prepare, practice, make partnership with your friends. You should have an academic partner. Perseverance should prevail. Good luck. Okay, again, prepare, practice, partnership, perseverance, prevail. So that's all about the, how to pass, how to prepare for the Viva Books and Practical Examination. So if you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me. 
if you have any question please feel free to ask me and i wish everyone should pass the exam with comfortably with good score and have a nice day bye now